doctor. Hope you are keeping well. The importance of maintaining oral hygiene cannot be stressed enough. Keeping that thought, we went ahead and collated a detailed description of a rare oral disorder called acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis and hope that you benefit from the same. The oral disorder named trench mouth dates to World War I, where soldiers in the trenches had poor oral hygiene and suffered from gingival bleeding and ulcerations. Much later, it was identified as an opportunistic microbial infection caused by spirochetes and gram-negative bacteria, particularly associated with HIV patients and immunocompromised and nutritionally deficient individuals. The condition was named acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis or ANUG owing to the characteristic features of bleeding, ulceration and necrosis of the interdental papillae. The patients usually present with sudden onset of pain, inflammation, fever, lymphadenopathy, bad breath and fatigue. Many predisposing factors contribute to the manifestation of ANUG. These mainly include nutrition deficiency, suppressed or compromised immunity, sleep deficit, stress contributing to cortisol imbalance, smoke that alters the microbial niche, vascularity, immune cell responses, and pre-existing gingivitis or periodontitis that could turn into necrotizing ulcerations in the presence of any of the above-mentioned factors. The underlying pathophysiology is mainly attributed to an immunosuppressed state and the contributing factors which lead to a depression of neutrophil function including chemotaxis, phagocytic activity and bactericidal abilities. In addition, there is altered lymphocyte function and a lack of protective antibodies which create an opportunistic niche for anaerobic growth and thus infect the periodontium. The histopathology shows the bacterial zone, the neutrophil rich zone, the necrotic zone and the spirochetal zone of infiltration. Diagnosis of ANUG is largely based on physical examination. A gram stain of gingival tissue, as illustrated, can at times support the diagnosis but is not always used. Appropriate and timely intervention prevents the advancement of disease into necrotizing ulcerative periodontitis or NOMA. ANUG can be easily confused with infections like gonococcal or streptococcal gingivitis and mucocutaneous conditions like desquamative gingivitis. In the case of HIV-infected patients, clinicians must consider ANUG even if the CD4 plus T lymphocytes are stable. ANUG poses a diagnostic dilemma to clinicians. Therefore, its treatment should be in successive stages and must consist of a multifactorial approach including superficial debridement, oral hygiene recommendation, use of antimicrobial mouthwash and oral antibiotics a comprehensive prophylaxis plan involving root planning and predisposing factor management. A meta-analysis identified the implementation of preventive programs to be effective in managing ANAG. Maintaining good oral hygiene is the most effective way to avoid developing gum diseases like gingivitis. In addition, regular dental visits help to achieve healthy gums and prevent oral diseases. Despite the diagnostic dilemma, the first critical action is recognizing the potential necrotizing gum disease followed by its timely treatment. Access to appropriate and effective professional care is crucial. Identifying and treating ANUG is necessary for adult and pediatric practitioners alike to avoid its devastating effects. Hope you find this information useful. Stay tuned with us for more evidence-based information on the latest happenings in medical science. Thank you for watching.